Wendy? We're about to enter the live volcano. We're going to be passing through the caldera. It's two half uh, moons, essentially. And we're going to sail through it. It's all pretty wild because they literally have an active volcano watch and a plan in case there's actual geological activity while we're in the middle of it. bubbling and what have you. But literally an active volcano. The crew is about to head right through. It's very really cold up here. We reckon it's blowing about 50 knots or so. Um, it's quite a tricky navigation, so we've set up the GoPro. Very difficult to film and keep the camera steady in these winds. there and the winds have kicked up, I don't know, that 70, 80 knots, it's insane. We can barely walk across the deck and my fingers are in charge of frostbite. It's a bit rough out here. I don't think we'll be making a landing, sadly, so this might be all we see on Deception Island. But it's pretty amazing. Another amazing geological structure we find ourselves in the center of a live volcano in the caldera in Antarctica. Thirty at night on the 4th of December. We have finished our tour of Antarctica. We're actually on our way back now. Unfortunately, we didn't make as many landings as we had hoped. Just because of the wind. We had about uh, 40 to 45 knot wind, uh, which is mostly um, a hindrance to the Zodiac operations. They can't get the little boats off the ship in order to ferry us across to the landings. But we've had good weather. We've shot some great stuff off the side of the boat. I am definitely getting a bit cabin fever. This is me stretching my legs before bed. The ship is starting to rock again as we head into the Drake's Passage. And Eric's gonna try and set up a shot on the bow. Um, hopefully we're gonna get some cool crashing waves as we come back through the Drake's Passage. I think in the wind it's about 50, 60 knots and it's the middle of the night on the Drake's Passage heading back to Tierra del Fuego from Antarctica. It's a weird feeling for me. I want to be out there longer. A lot more for me to do. It was a lot of time to think and contemplate on this voyage and to gain some perspective back on my life for not letting it drift away from me. I don't know how to judge it, but it's like, I can't keep my eyes open in that wind, and I can't, there's no way I could not hold my hat, my hat would go. Oh, I'm fucking you know. trying. But wait, 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 what is it? The most strongest winds? The strongest winds. One of the most strongest winds I've felt in my life. And how much time have you spent on the sea, brother? 12 years, 13 years. Are we, going, are we going to check it out? We're going to check it out. So, um, the weathered seaman Phil, who's been one of our expedition leaders, uh, 12 years on the sea, he's, this is the strongest wind he's ever felt. So, I gotta go check it out.
So we've left Drake's Passage and just entering the Beagle Channel, and the weather has certainly changed. T it's a hoodie and t-shirt weather. Well, hoodie for me means t-shirt for Eric. I mean, this is really nice. It's actually, we've probably got about 10 knot winds or so. What's, what's interesting is that when we were in this position uh, eight days ago, we were all in our giant jackets. <laughs> and uh, the, That's crew, right. the crew were like, you have no idea what's coming. And of course, we go down to Antarctica, you acclimatize, you come back, and this is a balmy summer. Yeah, so it's real nice. So we're gonna cook when we come back to LA. It's gonna be so hot. But right now, it's a nice, pleasant voyage through the Beagle Channel. We're ending our trip to Antarctica, but not in South America. We got Ushuaia for several days, which we're gonna do some cool stuff. Yesterday was pretty much just a work day for us. We were shooting interviews. We did get to go inside the bridge exclusively and shoot video in there, which is a no-no for everyone else but the crew. Great, well, it's our final breakfast. We're here at port and it's over. Yeah, we packed up our cabin. We are moored at the dock and we're ready to head up into Saya for a few days and then uh, on to LA. But, uh, this is not, by far not the conclusion of our trip down here. We're about to leave the water. Sadly. Last meal, last floating meal. We're disembarking from the ship and gonna gather up our kit and head out into Ushuaia. And we might even walk across the mountains into Chile. Penguins. Oh, yeah, no penguins.